This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. She said she should be here in a few minutes. Titus didn't feel like he had minutes, losing the small grip he had on his control. He was seconds from passing out, and really he'd rather pass out behind doors that were locked. The hospital fear was real. Jeffrey had called the ambulance once because Megan had gotten a bloody nose. If that happened, he would have to go into deeper hiding, like find a cave and sleep there for months before he could come out, and even then he might not be able to escape. Damn technology was so advanced that it was impossible to hide. He looked at his boss and gave the best puppy dog eyes he could muster. A door banged behind him. He tried to turn and see who'd walked in, but his head started to spin. He started to take deep breaths in through his nose and out through his mouth. He was going to be sick. Turning had been the wrong move. The toast and water he'd had for breakfast felt dangerously close to coming back out. There was a hand on his shoulder, shaking him, and words were said, but nothing penetrated the fog that had claimed his head. He shook himself loose of the deep fog and followed the hand up to Jeffrey's face. His face was pinched with concern, and Titus tried to concentrate. Jeffrey's mouth was moving, but sound and words were slow to come to him. He swallowed the bile that had come up, and it burned a little going back down. He should have stayed in, and now he was regretting it. He felt someone put their arm around his waist, taking most of his weight. He groaned. Everything was so fuzzy. The arm around him wasn't big enough to be Jeffrey's, but he couldn't think of anyone else who would help him. He was about to ask, but they started to move. It took all of his effort not to give the stranger all of his weight and pass out. He blinked, and he was no longer in the store. Panic gripped him, ice-cold fear running through his veins. Come the fuck down, Titus, or you're going to fall over the railing. Greg's harsh voice came through the fog that permeated his mind. He blinked a few times, trying to clear his vision and brain. Sure enough, they were right outside his little place, and Greg was trying to hold him against the wall and open the door at the same time. Titus wasn't making it easy for him either, his body shaking like a leaf. He needed to calm down. He was right outside the little place he slept in. He could never find it in himself to call any of the places he'd slept in home, no matter how long he stayed there. The audible click of the door opening was sweet music to his ears. He was moving to get inside when everything tilted sideways. God damn it, Titus, you're small, but you're heavy as shit right now. The exertion in Greg's voice showed he was having trouble with Titus. He tried to lift himself up, but his body didn't respond. Greg grunted as he pulled Titus over the threshold. Titus's legs dragged on the floor, his knee banging against the small dresser he had in the corner. The pain radiated up his leg, but he didn't have the energy to even whimper from it. His blow-up mattress was laying on the floor with a sheet and a thin blanket tossed on it, just how he had left it before his boss had called him. He was so stupid to say yes to coming in when he needed to be locked away. Come on, man, help a little, Greg said as he struggled with getting Titus to the bed. He tried, he really did, but every time he tried to force his body to move, it wouldn't budge. It was frustrating, and he was seconds away from tears. With a hard push, Titus rolled onto the blow-up mattress. His old body fit on it, and he was as comfortable as he was going to get for a while. He focused all of his energy, trying his hardest. Fine. Thanks. Go, he said. He only got three words out, but Greg eyed him suspiciously for a second before shrugging. Sure. But whatever drug you're on, I'd leave that shit alone if I were you. You can't even stand. Greg shook his head at him as he walked out the door. That was the last thing Titus saw. He released all his control and relished in the feeling as sleep took him over. It was nothing but blackness in his dream, and that was the best kind of dream. He floated in the inky blackness, his body feeling weightless. It felt good to let loose and dream of nothing. He had no idea how long he slept, but a sharp pain made his back bow. The burning pain he felt was familiar, 
and he groaned as he started to come to. He moved his head first, turning to look out the small window. Sure enough, it was pitch black outside.